Hello, we are Grail Programming Channel. My name is Andrei. This is our 20th lesson. I greet you. We will talk about uh, what is HTTP. So let's begin uh, for uh, Main Street uh, of uh, USA, Ural. And let's go. Uh, so you probably heard the familiar HTTP colon slash slash a zillion times. But what does it mean? First of all, the web addresses you type into the browser are called URLs or uh, uniform resource locators. If it were up to us, we would have called them web addresses, but no one asked uh, you, so we're stuck with uh, uniform resource locators. Here's how the tool decipher a uh, URL. PW coffee.com slash index point html the first part of uh, the URL uh, tells uh, you the protocol that needs to be used uh, to retrieve the resource the second part is a website name uh, at uh, the point you know all about that and the third part is uh, absolute path uh, to the resource from the root folder a uniform resource locator URL is a global address uh, that can be used to locate anything on the web, including HTML, pages, audio, video, and many other forms of the web content. In addition to specifying the location of the resource, a URL also names the protocol that you can use uh, to retrieve that resource. To locate anything on the web, as long as you know the server, that hot city and, uh, and absolute path to their source. You can create a URL and most likely get a web browser to retrieve it for you using uh, some protocol, usually HTTP. Come on down to Elistos.com. So what is it? What is uh, HTTP? HTTP is also known as uh, the hypertext transfer protocol, in other words, it's an agreed open method, a protocol for transferring hypertext documents around the web. While hypertext documents are usually just HTML pages, the protocol can also be used to transfer images or any other file that the web page might need. HTTP is a simple request and response protocol. Here's how it works. HTTP request, could I please have the file uh, slash index HTML? HTTP response, I found that file there. Here it is. Whatever you do, don't pronounce uh, URL as error because that's my name. It's pronounced URL. So each time you type that uh, URL into your browser addresses bar, the browser asks the server for the corresponding resource using the HTTP protocol. If the server finds the resource, it uh, returns it to the browser and the browser displays it. What happens if uh, the server doesn't find it? HTTP request, could I please have the file slash here to find HTML? HTTP response error um, hash for uh, hundred zero four. I can find it. If uh, the resource can be found, you'll uh, get the familiar uh, 404 error, which uh, the uh, server reports back uh, to your browser. What's an absolute path? The last time we talked about paths, uh, we were writing HTML to make uh, links with uh, A element. The path we are going to look at now is the absolute path part of the URL. The last part that comes after the protocol HTTP and the website name, Starbucks Coffee Come. An absolute path tells uh, as a server how to get from your root folder to a particular page or file. Take Airless Auto site, for example. Say you want to look in Airless inventory to see if your new mini copper has come in. To do that, you'll need to figure out the absolute path to the file inventory HTML that is in the new folder. All you have to do to is try to the folders, the starting at the root to get to the new folder where his inventory HTML file is located. The path is made up to of, of all the folders you go through to get here. 
so that looks uh, like root we re represent root with a, a slash cars new and finally the file itself inventory html here's how you put that all together early autos root folder always start at the root add on each folder as you navigate to the file in between the folder names put a slash to keep the separate and then add on the file name absolute path to inventory html there are not dumb questions what is important about the absolute path the absolute path is what a server needs to locate the file you are requesting. If the server didn't have an absolute path, it wouldn't know where to look. I feel like I understand the pieces protocol server's website and absolute path, but I'm having trouble connecting them. If you add all those things together, you have a URL, and with a URL you can ask a browser to retrieve a page or other kinds of resources from the web. Now, uh, the protocol part tells the browser's uh, method is uh, should use to retrieve the resource in most uh, cases. If this is HTTP, the website part, which consists of the server name and uh, the domain name tells the browser which computer on the internet to get the resource from and the absolute path tells the server what page you are after. We learn to put relative paths in the creative attribute of our elements. How can the server find those links if they are absolute? Whoa, great questions. When you click on a link that is related behind the sense, the browser creates an absolute path out of that relative path and the path of the web page that you click on. So all the web server ever this uh, our absolute path thanks uh, to your browser. Would uh, it help the browser if uh, I put absolute path in my HTML? Eh, another good question. But hold that uh, thought will get back to that in sec. Exercise, sharpen your pencil. You waited long enough, it's time to give your new URL a spin before you do fill in the blanks below and then type in the URL like you haven't already. If uh, you're having any problems, it is time to work with uh, your hosting company to get things sorted out. If you uh, haven't set up in a hosting company, fill in the blanks for a Starbucks coffee point com and type the URL into your browser anyway. So next, I'd like my visitors to be able to type HTTP three W Starbucks coffee com and not have to type the index HTML. Is there a way to do that? Yes, there is one thing uh, we haven't talked about is what happens if a browser asks uh, for a directory rather than a file from a web server. For instance, a browser might ask for. Remember, when we're talking about web servers or FTP, we usually use the term directory instead of folder. By they're really the same thing. The images directory in the root directory or the root directory itself, when a web server receives a request like this, it tries to locate a default file in that directory. Typically, a default file is called uh, index.html or default.htm. And if the server finds one of these files, it returns the file to the browser to display. So, to return a file by default from your root directory or any other directory, just name the file index point html or default html but you need to find out what your hosting company wants uh, you to name your default file because it happens uh, on the type of server they use but i did ask it about uh, cp 3 w starbucks coffee com which looks a little different it doesn't have the ending slash Oops, you sure did when a server receives a request like yours uh, without the trailing uh, slash and there is a directory with that name then the server will add a trailing slash for you so if the server gets a request for 3w starbucks coffee com it will change it to 3w starbucks coffee com which will cause the server to look for a default file and in the end it will return the files as if you're uh, originally typed 
PW Starburst Coffee com index HTML. How the fold pages work. We'll talk about this in the next lesson. And this is our advanced uh, lesson over. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Put likes, share with friends, comment. Eat bananas, chocolate, and nuts. Drink more water for the effective work of our brains. Bye.